Is your SD card suddenly telling you it's write protected? That means you can't add, delete, or even transfer files. Super frustrating, right? Don't worry, in this video, I'll show you five proven methods to remove write protection from an SD card. So grab your SD card and let's fix it step by step. What does write protection actually mean? It's a feature that prevents new data from being written or old data from being deleted on storage devices like SD cards and USB drives. It's designed to keep your files safe and is often used to prevent data loss due to misuse, protect the integrity of sensitive data, and prevent virus infection. Method one, check the physical lock switch. First things first, check your SD card itself. Most SD cards have a tiny switch on the side. If it's flipped down, the card is locked, which means write protected. Simply slide it back up to unlock. If the USB drive remains write protected after toggling the switch, or if there is no such physical button, change read-only settings with disk part. If the physical lock switch isn't the issue, let's try the Windows disk part tool. Press Windows and R key, type disk part, and hit enter. In command prompt, type list disk to see all drives. Select disk 2, replace 2 with your disk number. Type the command attributes disk to view the disk properties. And use attribute disk clear read only to set the disk writable. After that, close the window and try writing to your SD card again. Be sure to reinsert the drive, it's proven to work. Method 3. If disk part didn't help, let's tweak the registry. This method is a little more complicated. Be careful with this step. First, press Windows and R key, type reget it, and press enter. Once open, you'll see something like this, then follow me to navigate to this address. Under the control category, find the storage dice policies option. If it's not there, Right-click the Control folder, click New, and select Key. Create a new key named Storage Device Policies and hit Enter. Now right-click on it. Click on New. Click on D word 32-bit value or Q word 64-bit value. It will depend on your computer, so open this PC and right-click on it. Then click on Properties, and from here you can find out your computer's architecture. Create a new keyword named Write Protect. After that, double click on it and change the value from 0 to 1. If it is 1, then you have to change it to 0. Click OK to save the changes. After that, restart your computer and reinsert your USB drive and see if the problem is fixed or not. Method 4. If the above methods don't work out, I recommend you use the Write Protection Removal tool like 4D Dig Partition Manager to format the Write Protected USB drive. The whole process is very easy, just three steps. Install and launch 4D Dig Partition Manager on your computer. Insert your Write Protected USB drive into the PC and select the Partition Management tab. Click Format to proceed. Adjust the settings according to your preferences, then hit OK. Then you can see the process in the task list. Just wait patiently. Now you should be able to get rid of the write protection error message. Method 5. How to recover data after formatting write protected USB. When you format a write protected USB drive, all the files on it get erased. If you forgot to back up your data beforehand, don't panic 4DDIG data recovery can help bring it back. Next, I'll use 4DDIG data recovery tool to show you how to recover any lost, corrupted, or overwritten files from crashed or formatted USB drives. Check the download link in the description to install it. Once you open, you'll see this interface. Select your USB drive or SD card and click on Scan. Here you can see the file types that can be recovered. Click Scan Selected File Types to proceed, and wait for the scan to complete.
If you're looking for something specific, just type the file name into the search box in the top right corner. Once you find the files you need, select a safe location to save them and click Recover. That's it, your data is restored. And that's how you can remove write protection from a USB or SD card using five different methods and even recover your files if formatting was the only option. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more tech fixes and recovery tips. Drop your questions in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.